In this demonstration we introduced the enhancements of the table tool in the new Above Debugger. We focus on NetWeaver release 7 Enhancement Package 2. The table tool lets you view and manipulate the contents of internal tables while you are in the debugger. Since internal tables are heavily used during development process and often difficult to analyze, the research and development made some significant improvements to the table tool. Let's take a look at these improvements in the demo. The table tool is part of the new above debugger. Therefore, switch from classic to the new debugger. Now we want to analyze the content of the table L tab. As you can see, this table is difficult to work with. It is very broad and contains nested object references. And we need to analyze some of the attribute values. The first problem with this table is to arrange it so that we can see what we need to see quickly and efficiently. You might remember that in Netviva 7.0 the table tool offered just standard LV functions for choosing columns for display. Not very easy to use. You can still drag and drop columns in the ALV, like this, but now we have a column configuration. Click on the Columns button and the Table tool shows you all fields in the table with the object references and nested structure with hidden values and attributes. Let's get rid of the fields we don't need. Just remove them. We can always get them back again if we need them. Now you can easily enter the names of the columns you want to see. Just add the column, type a bit of the name and use a for help. Oh, it looks like we have duplicate columns now. No problem. Just press enter and the duplicate column gets removed. Now we want to analyze some objects attributes and structure fields. It used to be very time-consuming to display them in the internal table. Let's see how it works with the new table tool. Just click on the object reference and pick the attribute. You see that the attribute appears as a column of its own in the configurator. And just do the same for the structure field. And you see it as a column. You can also mark some columns and move them to the first position of the display. Or we can just mark the inserted attributes and fields. Just go to the place we want to have them and move them. Here we are. Confirm and here is the display. We don't have to open each instance of the object. We don't have to wait around in the structure. The object attribute and the structure field are here for our convenience. By the way, if you click on the column's name with the right mouse button, you can configure columns directly. Like, for example, you can use insert subcomponents to add the object attributes or structure fields. In NetWeaver 7.0, all of this layout work would have been lost as soon as we leave the debugger session. But with the new table tool, you can save and reuse table layout. You can use the tool services of the table, or you can use the columns drop-down. Use configuration for tables of the same type applies this layout whenever we open the similar table in this debugger session. Save configuration for tables of the same type saves this layout for you. This little light bulb goes on to show that there is a saved table configuration. The saved configuration is user-specific. It doesn't affect any other users of the system. If you want to share the configuration, just open the column screen again, mark the columns and export them to the buffer. You can mail them to your colleague, for example. Just paste them in the mail. And afterwards, he or she can paste them right into the column string. Now we leave the debugger and restart it again. 
Before we do this, we really set the new debugger to our default debugger via Utility Settings Debugging. And restart the debugging. And the table is presented in the saved layout. That's it. By the way, now you can also display keys and indexes of the internal table. Here are some useful features that are already available with Enhancement Package 1. If you need to work with another table, just add the new table tool to the table's desktop. You can display up to four tables at a time on the table's desktop. You can crowd as much as possible onto a screen by optimizing the columns display. You can search for and position the display on a particular column. And if you need sample data for testing, download the content of the table for reuse. And finally, you can reset the table to its original condition. Just use Reset Column Configuration. So, let's sum up the improvements of the table tool we just seen in the demo. You have now more comfort in changing the column layout so that you can see the table content you need to see. You can display the content of the nested structures and objects attributes at one glance. You can store a table layout that you have created so that you can reuse it in your next debugger session.